Hey everybody and welcome. This is Excel Visual Basics. I just want to make a quick video because I found a really cool code. It's by cpearson.com who specializes in Excel. So Pearson Software Consulting, your source for Excel. That's at cpearson.com. The author is Chip Pearson and I saw this code and it looked really intimidating and I thought, you know, will it work for me? I don't know. But what it does is it exports stuff you have in Excel to a text file. And he also has code here that you can import from a text file into Excel. But right now in this tutorial I'm going to be covering how to export stuff on your worksheet into a text file on your hard drive. And what Chip Pearson has given us is some really great parameters to adjust as well to suit our needs. So we have fname, you can name the file. We have sep, which is SEP, and that's just a separator symbol you can specify for your own particular needs such as a pipe symbol or a comma. Section only, this is if you only want to um, export a certain piece of your worksheet, then you will use section only equals true. And then if you want to export the entire worksheet to one file, one text file, then you would use section only equals false. And then append, append data, that's if you want to take data from your Excel sheet and export it into an existing file, text file for example, and it will add it to the end and it won't wipe the file out completely. So it'll just keep adding and refreshing, adding new data every time you use this macro. And then append data equals false would just mean that you're wiping the file out and whatever you're exporting will replace what was currently there. So let me just jump into this here. I just put this dummy text here and we have these two. Let me just show you. Module 1 is the core of this. This is what's driving it all. Um, this is Module 3. And the way I got to this thing on the left is I went up to View and I clicked Project Explorer in Excel 2007. Now, there are parameters you can adjust and those are all right here. Those are the parameters I was just talking about. Um, but let's just, instead of me talking about this, let's just uh, give you an example. So, first, here's my file, or my folder that I'm going to export to. It's empty, it's completely empty. There's no text files in there right now. And I'm going to run the first one. I'm calling it do the export. Click run. And then I'm prompted. This is saying, okay, you want to make a text file from the stuff you have on your Excel spreadsheet here. What do you want to call it? Well, I'll just call it um, test file. And I'll click save. And I have already have the location and that's going to be in this folder here. But I'll just click, in fact, I'll just click save and then it's asking me for a separator symbol and you can use like I said commas semicolons um, I'll use a pipe symbol here for an example hit OK and if you don't specify a separator symbol then no text file will be made and nothing will happen so you have to specify a separator symbol for that to work and here's the test file and here is what it looks like so it exported all of our stuff that was in Excel right into this text file that we called and that we named and that we specified where we want it on our hard drive. So that's pretty cool. Then let's say, let's say I want to adjust the parameters. Let's say I don't want to, let's say I don't want to um, export the entire file here. Let's say I just want to export a certain piece. Let's say this right here. So I've already changed section only equals false and I changed it to section only equals true. Now I'm going to click click save, exit, and then I run it. And then we'll just call it test file again just so we can see what happens. And this time I'll specify a different symbol. Okay, it looks like nothing happened, but let's take a look. 
here we go. It's been appended to the bottom. So it didn't replace the file that we had, but it appended it to it. So that's cool. Now, let's step into it again. And this time, append data equals true, and we'll change that to false. And I just saved it. Now let's run the macro, and we'll, we'll just specify this little chunk right here. Click run. We'll replace that file. S symbol here. All right. And there you go. So what it did is it wiped out the entire existing file that we had previously, replaced it with the box here that I highlighted and that I wanted. Also in this workbook you'll find export automatically and what this is is the same parameters here except you say okay I don't want to specify what location to put it in every single time. You saw the pop the pop up in the prompt. Well you can just specify the file location here and you can also specify what separator symbol you want and instead of doing it every single time. We'll just run one here. Nothing happened, you see. Didn't look like anything happened, but now we have the file and it's exported everything as we wanted it. So this is Excel Visual Basics and a special thanks goes out to Chip Pearson for just creating an amazing code. Very flexible and they obviously know what they're doing. So thanks for watching.